Charlie. And I'm your co-host, Linda Frazier. Linda, welcome to this program in the series, On the Other Hand. Charlie, I've noticed that you're right-handed. So am I. That means that our right hand is our dominant hand. And our left hand is our non-dominant hand. Yes, right. There are linguistic rules in sign language as to what the dominant and non-dominant hand can do. First of all, if both hands move in a sign, they must have the same hand shape and the same kind of movement. Here are some examples. Maybe both hands are open and move up and down with an alternating movement. If you saw this sign, it would be wrong. The hands must be the same shape. If both hands move, the hands must have the same hand shape. You see? If a sign has different hand shapes, then only the dominant hand moves. For example, enough word. Only the right hand moved. So in a two-handed sign, if both hands move, they must have the same hand shape like here America party but if the sign has different hand shapes only the dominant hand can move like weak spring Pumpkin. In today's program, you will learn sign vocabulary for foods. We will also look at definitive adjectives. But first, let us look at classifiers used as adjectives to show the size of something. Classifiers that are used to show the size of a noun can also show the location or movement of the noun. Remember the classifier F. It is used for nouns with a small round shape, like button. This is the classifier C. It is used for nouns to show a larger round shape, like cup. This is the classifier bent L. It is used for nouns to show a round shape too, like glasses. Signs formed with these classifiers can be moved to show movement or location. For example, you can put your watch on the table. You can put a ball on the table. You can put a plate on the table. Exchange students will be here next week. Will you teach me food signs and help me plan their meals? Sure, I'd be happy to. Let's list the meals and make a shopping list from that. Now write down breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Did you see how I signed those? Breakfast is eat morning, lunch is eat noon, and dinner is eat evening. That's easy to remember. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Very good. Now for breakfast, do you want pancakes or eggs? I think they like pancakes. 
What's the sign for bacon and sausage? Okay, bacon is like this. Sausage is like this. Bacon and sausage. Let's have pancakes with bacon and sausage. I'll write that down. What do you want to drink? Milk, coffee, or tea? I think we should have them all. Let's see if I can sign them. Milk, coffee, and tea. That's good, and then everyone can choose. Okay, let's think about lunch. I think the easiest things to fix are sandwiches. I remember that sign for our cookout. What kind of sandwiches should we have? How about ham and cheese? There isn't a sign for ham, so you have to fingerspell it. H-A-M. When we can't forget the lettuce, which we have to fingerspell too. L-E-T-T-U-C-E. -E. And tomato. Let's see. That's a uh, ham. H-A-M. Lettuce. L E T T U C E cheese and tomato. That's it. And I think we should have soup with the sandwiches. Soup with crackers. That's good. Soup and crackers with sandwiches. Let me write that down. Okay, what can they have for dinner? How about spaghetti with salad? That's easy to fix. And we can add some French bread. Yeah, they'll love French bread. I'll put that down with spaghetti and salad. Well, I think that looks like enough. And later on in the evening, we can fix some popcorn for them. Popcorn! That's a great idea! I wonder if they have popcorn in France. I'm sure they do.